Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel if you're new here. My name is Adrian, and today I'm going to be showing you guys all of my favorite like hygiene products, what I like to use. And summer's coming along real fast, so we're not gonna be smelling crusty out here, okay? okay? I feel like I'm a credible source for this video because I feel like everywhere I go, people tell me I smell good. I'm not saying 24 seven, I'm saying I just have gotten a lot of compliments in my life that I smell good, so I feel like that should just give you more of a reason to trust me, you know? Because I'd be smelling good. First, we're gonna start with the deodorant. I use this deodorant, it's native. Um, it's the scent coconut and vanilla, it smells so amazing. Oh, it smells so good. Now, for the summer, if you have like really bad body odor and you sweat a lot and you're like moving around and sweating a lot all day, would not recommend this. Just because this is like an all natural deodorant. If you've ever used all natural deodorants, you know that like they, you have to reapply basically. And the reason I use Native is because they're like a really clean brand and I know like, do you guys ever like just get like ringing in your ears all of a sudden? Anyway, I know that they don't have all those chemicals in their products, so that's why I like to use them because I've heard that like the other deodorants can like cause cancer and stuff with all the chemicals. And listen, I know what you're thinking. Adrian, everything has chemicals in it. Like, then maybe I should use everything natural. No, I'm not doing that, but I won't be getting cancer from deodorant. Because I feel like that's just ridiculous. I'm not gonna let deodorant give me cancer. Like, I know our food has like chemicals in it. I know some of my other products I'm about to show you have chemicals in it, but I'm not getting cancer from deodorant. That's just embarrassing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, you get the point. It's just about making like small little changes, you know? Like if my deodorant has less chemicals, that's just a couple less chemicals I'm putting like onto my body. Now, Native can be a little bit pricey. So a great dupe would be the Hello um, Sweet Coconut deodorant. And I actually really like this deodorant too. I got this one because it's cheaper. So yeah, I love these, but if you sweat a lot and like you know, this isn't gonna work for you all day, then I would definitely recommend like Dove or something like that, you know, but yeah. Next, we're gonna do body washes right here. This, okay, guys, this is not a native sponsored video. I swear it seems like it, it looks like it, but it's not, I have 35 subscribers, so you can trust me. Anyway, um, this I bought during the winter time and they don't have it anymore. It was a limited edition. And that's really sad because this is the best smelling thing I've ever smelled in my entire life. Oh my gosh. I would do anything to get my hands on some of this. Like I still have like this much left in here because I kind of like stopped using it. But because I wanted because I wanted to save it because it smells so freaking good. And they also have the deodorant. I have the native deodorant to this one. I still have it. I have a little bit left because I'm trying to preserve it. And if they don't have this next winter. I will never be buying from Native ever again. No, I'm just kidding, but yeah. I got this cucumber and mint body wash. Uh, it just smells so refreshing. And also Native brand, everything, no chemicals. Literally the ingredients are on the back. They literally tell you what the ingredients do. You know, like they list the ingredient and then they list what it actually means. I just feel like that's so cute. Anyway, I love the Native brand. But my second favorite body wash is the Sol Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay, which I didn't realize that's what it was called when I bought it. It's kind of funny, I guess. This smells so good. If you've smelled like the Brazilian like perfume, that's what it smells like. Love that. And then I also use like, like Bath and Body Works shower gel sometimes. My favorite scent is You're the One. Speaking of You're the One, let's get into perfumes now. So You're the One. This is the best smelling thing I've ever smelled in my entire life. I know I'm saying that about everything, but I'm serious. Oh my gosh, I get so many compliments when I wear this. But I work in a gas station and anytime I wear this, I always get compliments. Okay. When you're set back, it's just you're recording. It's embarrassing, it's so embarrassing. This actually came from my boyfriend. Um, he got it for me like three, four Christmases ago. He told me that him and his best friend went into Bath and Body Works and smelled every single perfume. And they said this was the best smelling one. And that just, it's been so special to me ever since then. And it literally smells so good. And is that not just the cutest thing? It's such a dude thing. It's just so cute. I love it. And so this has actually been sitting upside down in my cabinet. And I actually transferred it into this girl here, which was literally like 10 bucks at Hobby Lobby. Why not romanticize your life somewhere if you can? Because that's what I like to do. 
I'm bougie on a budget. I hate when people like call me bougie as like an insult because it's not an insult. Like, yes, I'm bougie on a budget. Just because I'm bougie doesn't mean I'm like stuck up with entitled rich bitch or something. Yes, this is extra. This is bougie, but it was $10. Just treat yourself. If things make you feel good and make your quality of life feel better, get it. This is 62. I prefer 71 because it's much stronger. This is way lighter. I got this thinking it was 71 and it's actually 62. Their perfume, they go by numbers. This has been sitting upside down because I actually cracked the bottom. So I've just had it like this and I, that's why I got that thing so I could put it in there. Okay, now moving on to shave cream, shave oils, whatever. So before I shave, I always like to exfoliate with this girl here. This is the best scent. And also this is kind of a dupe for the Sol de Janeiro like 72 or Sol de Janeiro 71. I love it. I love Tree Hut. I love Tree Hut scrubs. Speaking of Tree Hut, after I exfoliate with this Tropic Glow Shave Oil, this makes your skin so soft, so incredibly soft. I love this stuff. And I'm actually literally about to be out, so I need to get some more. Hold on. I like to use like before I exfoliate is, um, it's just like one of these. If you've heard of the brand Eco Tools, they have a lot of like really good like exfoliating gloves and mitts and like these kinds of things so like scrub yourself and it gets off all that dead skin makes your skin real soft it might seem like in the moment it doesn't help but like trust me it works it helps also another shave like cream i like to use is the, is the eos shea butter 24 hour moisture shave cream i love it and i think it's so cute too but it's literally so soft and it makes your legs so soft also and i want to get the lotion I say to like use this and then use the lotion afterwards and i feel like that would just be chef's kiss and then when I'm in the shower, I I know this isn't very sanitary, but I use a loofah. I try my best to like get new ones every couple months, like every two to three months. Is that disgusting? Three months? It seems pretty good to me, but yeah. I know they like carry a lot of the dead skin, but also I feel like this just makes it really like airy and it allows things to like rinse out and air dry. So I probably won't switch from this. I've been wanting to use like the African like nets that they have. If you guys heard of those, they're just, they're literally like this material, I feel like, but they're just like a rag, basically. I don't know, I just feel like I can't switch out with my loofah. Like, this is what I've used since I was born, since I can remember a shower. I used to use a washcloth, so that's a lie, but ever since I've been like 10, I've used a loofah. Getting back in those like hard to reach areas, like your entire back, you can't reach every part of your entire back in the shower. So I got this from TJ Maxx. It's kind of inconvenient and I'm kind of probably going to get a new one, but... It comes off and I don't really like that because when I'm like washing it'll like slip off but I would definitely recommend like even a brush like just like one of these but like a normal brush instead of like a sponge because this is kind of inconvenient but you get the idea you just need something to really get back there and get in those rolls and also when I'm showering like sometimes at night after like a really long day and I mean a really long day. Like I don't really just use these every single day. It's normally like when I really need to relax. I'll put one of these, these Body Restore Calm um, shower steamers in my shower. Oh my gosh. It almost feels like eucalyptus. The way eucalyptus makes your nose feel and stuff. Like it just really opens you up. It's relaxing. Sometimes if I'm taking like a bubble bath or something, which is very rare, every like once in a blue moon, I'll take a bath. But this is what I love to put into my bath water because oh my gosh, it smells so good. Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy. It's just so nice to just sprinkle in your bath water. It makes bubbles and it like smells so good and refreshing and calming. I like to use, is it chi or chai? I feel like it's chi. Anyway, I use this. It has argan oil in it for my curly hair. The best type of shampoo or conditioner to use if you have like hair like mine is like something that has like oils infused into it because that will be a game changer for you. I just love to go in with like this scalp massager. It feels so good. Just really like get in there with your shampoo, you know? Oh, it feels so good. And I'm not gonna go into like all my hair products today because I wanna do a different video on that, but I also like to use um, Jamaican black castor oil in my hair and my brows and my lashes and they've been growing a lot because of it. I also use this to massage that oil in, so. And this is also from Eco Tools. They just have all kinds of hygiene products, guys. I don't know, but you don't have any more excuses because Eco Tools is cheap. They have lots of self-care stuff for really cheap. Like I feel like that head scrubber was like $6. I always use um, Crest. I used to use um, Optic White Advanced Colgate Toothpaste and I really don't have any complaints about it. I love it. And I think that it made my teeth really white because 
I've been using the Cress 3D White Brilliance and I feel like the Optic White Advance made them whiter. I just really like whitening toothpaste either by Crest or Colgate. I don't use any other brand, just Crest or Colgate. Not saying there's anything wrong with any other brand, but like Arm & Hammer, you will never catch me using. It tastes like literal baking soda. I'm done with my baking soda days of using baking soda to brush my teeth. I use Crest Advance Extra Whitening Mouthwash. But you switch this around, it gets really, 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 really foamy, but love this stuff. Okay. Now for face wash. If I'm not in the shower, I use Bubble. Bubbles. Fresh Start Gel Cleanser because I keep it in here in my skincare fridge. And like a lot of the times, like right now, it's what time is it? Like five o'clock. I showered like a little bit ago and I'm probably not gonna shower again tonight because I mean, it's 5 p.m. Tonight and in the morning, I'll wash my face with that gel cleanser because I'm not getting in the shower. But when I am in the shower, so I was using CeraVe's Hydrating Facial Cleanser. 10 out of 10, love CeraVe. This brand is just amazing and I feel like it's extremely trustworthy and reliable. It almost feels like like a makeup melter in a way because it doesn't foam up, but yeah, I don't know. I really, really like that. This is my ultimate favorite. So I actually got this in a miniature size in one of my Ipsy packages, like when I used to be subscribed to Ipsy, but it's the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. And all I can say is just wow. All I can also say is frothy that's what it gives frothy it literally feels like i don't know how else to describe it whoever made that name up for that face wash needs a raise because that's literally what it feels like you know like when you can't explain something you can't put something into words well they did it for us like a, the tiniest little squirt tiniest little dab and like it really like foams up i love that face wash and it has like a minty smell to it like very very subtle though it's kind of like a frothy smell if that's a thing i don't know frosty smell i don't know i almost forgot about like feminine hygiene and i feel like i have to put that in this video so so for like razors and stuff i like to use the joy there's no hairs in there. The Joy Razor. I've tried a lot of other razors and this is like my favorite one. I've only had to buy one razor, one actual razor. And then you can buy like cartridges to put on there. That's really nice and neat. So I love that. I used to use the Flamingo Razor and I'm not a huge fan just because like this part is so big compared to the Joy. I don't really like the guard on there. I just don't feel like this guard is necessary for me personally. Just like this has a much, much closer shave. So you by Kotex, it's my favorite brand i really do not like any other brand i just saw a girl the other day talking about like these organic tampons they come in like a circular container and they're normally like blue and green and i do not like those they're they literally say on it like organic tampons or whatever i hate them they literally feel like they're falling out whenever you wear them i'm about to be 20 and i feel like i know how to put in tampons i never have a problem with like you by kotex or anything but organic ones never work for me they just they're they're not as good i love um any like unscented feminine wipe i don't like summer's eve or nothing like that because it really throws off your ph balance just any like low-key unscented like feminine wipe whenever you want to like freshen up down there you know like in the summer especially because you know then i like to use panty liners a lot with my tampons so i just use like these carefree ones i really like them they're really thin i used to have poofy hair ask anyone my hair used to be so big. I look like a lampshade. Let me know if you guys would be interested in like a curly hair routine or what I use for my curly hair. Like it was just insane. I don't know. Like sometimes I look at my hair and I'm like, how did we get here? You know? So let me know if you guys would be interested in that. And I'd definitely be more than happy to make a video. But if you got this far, let me know what your favorite hygiene products are down below in the comments. It was so fun. I'm so glad I got to show you guys all my favorite hygiene products. Yeah, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye